Retro Rewind Gamer. Uh, as you can see, we're taking a break from uh, Final Fantasy Tactics and we're going into a little uh, side game. Let's see if I can get back out of this. Here we go. Um, it's Lords of Lunar uh, from Silver Star Story. Um, if you had the Silver Star Story complete set um, that had the, the uh, game, uh, the soundtrack, uh, the making of, then you know about this uh, mini game that's in here. Um, also, uh, if, if, if you uh, don't ha didn't have it um, and haven't seen it, this is your chance to see it. Um, basically, if you have the making of, <coughs> excuse me, the making of, the Lunar Solar Star Story complete disc. You wait till the, you put it in. You wait till the uh, video starts, and I'm gonna get back out of that again. Uh, and you enter in this code. You go up, down, left, right, triangle, start, um, and then it's gonna bring up this screen for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little bit of this. Um, I haven't played this in in a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna start. Uh, a is just gonna be me. Um, I'm on my own here, so. I'm going to play it here. Um, I'm not sure who, if I really get a choice of what I uh, want to be. It's, the button's not doing anything here. I don't want a robot. Human, robot. I guess we just make them all robots. And now that everything is set up. Humans now pick a castle and character and then press start. So I'm going to start up here at the top uh, left. Uh, depending on how time goes, I'm going to try to do uh, all of them. Uh, but there are, as you can see, nine castles to do. So we're going to do here, and it's going to be Alex, the main character. So we'll hit start again. Uh, play to one points. Holding castle width. Uh, this is all kind of good. Multi ball max is going to be three. So every time somebody goes out, an extra ball is going to come in. Um, so we're going to basically get it started. And then you can see it's kind of like Pong. What you try to do is you try to guard your, the bricks into your castle. If all your bricks go down, then you go out of the game. And have to wait. And so far, the ball has come nowhere near me. Which uh, there's one gone, and then now comes in the second ball, and I'm not doing very well. Deflecting here. There we go. I deflected one, but then got hit by quite a few. Also, if your character gets hit, then that's going to end it out too. So you want to keep your bricks from every side. As you can see, it gets kind of chaotic here. And I'm, I'm almost going to be taken out here. See, we got three balls here. That's going to be the max. So, again, it, it gets kind of chaotic here, as you can see. And the, ball ca the balls can go a while without coming to you or without even hitting anybody. Now I'm out. So I'm out of the game now. And Ramis is the winner. So he's the champion because we we're only playing w one point. So again, we're going to do same thing. Make them all robots. And we'll go actually into Ramus' spot now. Well, I guess I'll be Alex again, or nope, we'll go with uh, Ramus. 
uh, since it's kind of his castle. And start up here. Now, now I gotta get readjusted to where I'm at here. As you can see the the castle faces change. So you can pick who you wanna play it as. And I'm just not fast enough at this anymore. I used to be pretty good at this, but now I'm like not very good, but it is a fun game. Uh, and considering it's a game that was a hidden game, really. You had to have the code and the disc to get. It's not on the, uh, the Lunar disc. Alright, so I'm, I'm staying, staying kind of safe. I'm taking this guy out. It doesn't keep track of how many people you took out. So, we're hanging in there, but with these three balls now, it's, it becomes utter chaos. And I'm out again. Just two. And the balls can be slowed or out, slowed and redirected by the paddles of the people who are out. That's the only downfall of the game, really, is what the, the, the robots will still continue to play um, with their paddle. And it can redirect and slow up the ball, as you see there, and redirect. I'm not moving my paddle. Um, I'm keeping it still. Uh, I, I could be doing that and influencing what's going on, but uh, I don't do that. But I used to be really good at this. What happened? And this one could go on for a little bit. Somebody hit him. And you can see Null, his uh, expression is changing, and Null wins. So, because he wins, he's the champion. We're only playing to one point. And we're going to go again with the setup here. So, we should be able to do probably all nine, uh, all nine spots here on the board. I'll go as Alex again. Uh, he didn't serve me very well in the first one, but neither did uh, uh, Ramus. He didn't serve me very well either. So we'll see uh, what we can do here. So we hit start. Obviously, we're just going to play uh, the one point again. And here we go. Now again, I have to get. I have to be. I have to know where I'm at here on the screen that I'm down at the bottom left. Where you, where you really have to be fast is in the middle, and I'll be going there next. Um, depending on, like I said, depending on how much time uh, we have, I'll try to play in all nine locations. Let's see if I can at least win one. I don't want to go 0 and 9. That would be uh, pretty bad, but I've already got some openings here. I love the way their facial expressions change when their castles get hit and they start being in danger. Just keep an eye on that. It's, it's kind of cool and creative how they did that. I'm going to be going out again really, really quick here. They got to keep the ball away from me. Keep it away. Keep it up there. Keep it to that side. That's fine. Just keep it away from me. I can handle this. So if, if, you're, I mean, if you're a retro gamer, um, and, and you like Pong, ah, I'm out. Uh, if you like Pong, this is obviously a version of it, but you're, it's a cross between Pong and Breakout, kinda, but with 
different objectives in mind. So I'm 0 for 3 here right now. And being in the middle is not going to be any easier. So. so we're down to three. Three of the nine. But again, I love how their facial expressions change as their castles get hit and they become more exposed. For a, for a mini game that's hidden, I think it's uh, kind of some thought went into this to do that. As you can see, the balls are going weird because, like I said, the robots still play as if they're in the game. They're still playing with the paddle, so it redirects the ball. A couple of hits there. And this one could be almost over. So as I said, this is just one of those break games uh, that, I, that I decided to do to take a little break from uh, tactics uh, as we're starting to get close to the end of that game. And Kyle wins, the other uh, male character. So he is the champion with one point. And we'll start again. We could actually make it less castles. Um, but I think it's kind of cool this way. Um, we're going to go now in the middle. And as Alex again. And let's see, is there something to take down the volume? Because there is, it, it is kind of loud, uh, at least from wh what I'm hearing here. But there isn't, so I can only do what I can do here. So here we go. I'm now in the... Upper middle. And I already took a hit. First hit. I'm just trying to at least win one game or not go out first or second. That's it. Keep it away from me, except for the balls that are slower. I don't mind. Oh. Luna, come on. You're supposed to like Alex. What's going on here? So, at least I'm not the first one out. But I'm close to being the second one out. Flying around. Dang. It's hard to defend from four sides. At least the angle. Oh, I'm getting slammed on all sides here. But I'm still in this. Oh, at least I was one of the last three. So I'm over four, and Jessica wins. One of the priests, priestesses, uh, in the game, and she's the champion of this round with just the one point. So again, same thing. I don't want a robot. I could try to defend two. Uh, that would be really tough. I can't even defend one as it is. So, I'm going to go down here because there's really just those uh, castles. We'll do it as Alex again. And then, gee, it starts me off with a hit. 
Not so fair. Come on. I'm going down first here because I'm doing I'm doing horrible. Locked one that time. How did my pal go all the way down there? Uh oh. I'm totally exposed at the top and a bit at the side. One more hit from the top and I'll be out. Right now, keep it away from me. I have no problems with that. I want nothing to do with this ball. Come on. Keep it away. Keep it away. No. Oh, that was close. So now they're playing they're playing corner seas. Open now from two sides. And back to Warner Z's. Nobody's out though. One's out. Alright, pretty much one more hit and I'm done. Can't defend from every side. Oh, I'm out. So we go oh for five. The winless streak continues. And it's between Luna and Null. Luna hasn't won a game yet either, so I don't feel too bad. But you can also, uh, you can adjust the points per round, so like if they win a game, it's a point, and they only become a champion once they reach the, the point level that you uh, put in, and Luna wins one. So see, here it's showing, if, we, if I set it for like three, um, then obviously the first uh, character to win three would actually win three games would be the champion. But it's set up for one point right now, just uh, to kind of get us through this. Go robot, 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 and we're gonna go far or top right. And character hasn't really mattered. Because I haven't been able to do very well at this at all. This is kind of sad. As I said in the uh, the, the channel description, I'm, like, I'm an average gamer. Um, I probably haven't played this in at least a good 15 years. It's definitely something that I could use some practice at, but it's also a game that I I forgot about. And I mean, I have Lunar Silver Star Story 2 complete, which I haven't even played yet. So as long as that middle one's there, I'm kind of all right. But once the top middle castle is gone, then they're going to come at me. Oh. So I think so far this is the best effort I've put in. Actually, set the ball max higher. I figured. I figured three was really hard enough. Oh, and that bounce took me out. So I 
can't buy a win here. But again, I just I, I love I love the way the facial expressions change when they get hit. That's just to me that's that's kind of detailed. It would just be nice if I could win one. I've got two chances. Two chances to win. Though it's not all about winning and losing, though. I guess it depends on who you talk to, but it's fun. I'm having fun. Ramus wins again. So that would be the second time he's the champion. Boo. Even though he's sort of your best friend from the, the beginning of the game. So again, we this is the one thing I mean you, if you have multi if you have like more than one player, if you have like the multi tap for the PS1, um, and you have like two multi taps, you can actually get like eight people playing this um, at one time. Uh, it's really, really cool. Um, you could just have, you know, a group of people just going out and going after each other. And that's what friends of mine and I used to do uh, back in the day. Um, be Alex again. And here we go. Again, starts the ball by me. I mean, we used to just have fun with this. We'd play this thing for hours. Set like the ball, the, the ball max at like five. Dang it! Come on, keep it away from me. This is probably the worst spot to be because you get that ricochet. You get the ricochet from the top and the bottom, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So I'm not the first one out, but I'm not doing very good here. Either. I just took him out. But as you can see, three balls. It's, it's, some of you are probably really, really good. Uh, you can leave a comment telling me just how bad I am at this. And, you know, if, if this brings back any memories for you, I mean, Lunar did come out in uh, 99 to the PS1. So I have one more chance to win. And that's it. again so him and Ramis have each won two so Null is the champion and I just I'm stinking pure and simple just stinking no I maybe I should go as a robot maybe then I might might win so we're gonna go far bottom right corner uh, this will be our last uh, game. So this is going to be a shorter episode. I just wanted to kind of take a break from tactics and show you this uh, hidden game. For those of you who may have not seen it, who don't know how to access it, um, we'll go Alex again. And, of course, it starts down where I'm at. way to end the episode when one thought I had that one. Man, the way the ball ricochets, because you got people so close to you, once they're gone, then it's, it's a little bit easier. Man, I'm just, I am bad at, hit, at blocking this thing. Oh, I blocked it. Well, you know, I can actually do it. 
We make him play corners ease for a little bit. That's fine. Keep it away from me. I kind of want to be like the goalie that goes 10 15 minutes without seeing a shot on you. Oh, out first. Not a good way to end. It's really between Renal and Ramos, they won two apiece. Let's see who our overall winner will be. It's gonna be an ultimate winner. Either Nal or Ramus. They've each won two. I sure know I didn't win any of this. Well, they're both getting exposed now. It just depends on where they get hit next. Sounds like somebody's playing a detuned bass, too. When the ball uh, hits the walls. Ramis is our ultimate winner. So that's going to wrap it up uh, for the episode. I just I wanted to do a nice little short video on this game because uh, again, it's an interesting t game. It's you know the fact that it's kind of a cross between Pong and Breakout, um, but using the characters of the game and it being you know their castles and again the way their faces change. Um, but let me know uh, in the comments below uh, what you thought of this video of the game. Does it bring back any memories um, if you played this uh, way back in the day? Um, it's one of the few games that I've played so far that doesn't have any music in the background. Um, so it's just me and my voice here. But uh, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, so uh, again, any comments, suggestions uh, below? Uh, like I said, if this brings back any memories for you guys, because again, 1999 was when this came out for the PS1. Uh, let me know. Uh, please subscribe, uh, like, uh, well, like, subscribe, and spread the word. And until next time, I will see you. We'll get out of this again. We will uh, see you later. Bye bye.